Hey guys, this is Dan from VHix411. And in this video, I will show you how we do ammo delete on a Volkswagen Audi ECU. It's gonna be a quick video. Uh, we're gonna be using CarProg. Any EEPROM programmer will work. And you will need a breed of software or any software that can calculate the ammo off file for you. Now, this is EDC 15 diesel Volkswagen, older one like 2000 till 2002 but older uh, Volkswagens and Audis they're easier to do so it's a quick video and we'll dive right into it so located my EEPROM over here it is a 24C04 EEPROM I already cleaned my contacts got my EEPROM adapter connected I will go to my car probe 24C04, that's the EEPROM we're gonna be reading. I will click read, and it's gonna read the file. Once I read the file, I will just save as ammo on. Ammo on, boom, saved. I will go to my Abrita software, right here. Come on, Abritas. So EDC 15 ammo bypass 24C04 memory, and this is the correct software. We'll just load our ammo on file that we just read a minute ago. Open, and if you can see, it says ammo is now on. We'll click on it, ammo is now on. We will save this as ammo off file. And I will get out of my Abrita software. I will load it up in my CarPro or any EEPROM program you got. We'll click ammo off. Come on, ammo off. All right, ammo off. And then I will click write. So all we do is read the original file with the software, modify the ammo off and write it in. And if you can see, it is right here. Ammo off is turns into 60, and ammo on is actually 33 here, 33 here. Now it doesn't always mean that you're gonna have a 33 and then a 60. The number's gonna be different. That's why you do need a software to do that. Uh, otherwise, if it's a newer Volkswagen, those are very hard to do because it's. Let me pull up the picture over here. <clears throat> Processor is a big processor to read. You need a special programmer just to read, and it could be a flash or EEPROM. And you got to read them all, and then the checksum has to be corrected, and then whole different uh, way of doing the flash, and then EEPROM, internal, external flash. So that one's a harder one. I will actually have a video on that one coming soon. Uh, otherwise, if you do need the service done, I will leave a link in description below. If you do have an EEPROM reader and a software to do older stuff, that's how it's done. Otherwise, thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.